lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings and as you can see it's time for Mark and Manny's malts you may be wondering so where's Manny unfortunately he could not be here which is a pity because I always like it when he's around to present our newest release but he's off chasing casks and well all I can say at the moment is he's in a country nearby but not Scotland that's all I can say right now but anyway, uh, I'm here to present to you the uh, second single cask release in our newest series, the Tribe series, in which our friend Jürgen Robbeins uh, designs the labels. And you may remember the first one, which we released in February of 2019, was this one, the Picts. I can only show you the open bottle because it's the last one I had. These went very, very fast. So this is all I have left of the original, the Picts. And now for the new one, it's called the Celts. Uh, Jürgen designed another beautiful label. And as with the Picts, it is again a release from a secret Speyside distillery. And it's actually a distillery that was founded in 1892 in the Valley of the Deer, literally a stone's throw away from the distillery that created the, uh, the Picts. This one is called the Celts. And that's all I can tell you about the distillery. It's a secret space site, but it's a fruity bomb, as you are uh, about to find out. All right. It is matured in a bourbon cask for no less than 22 long years, which is even a bit longer than the Picts. This was distilled in 1996, and it matured on a bourbon cask for 22 years, and it has been uh, bottled at a, ca <laughs> at a cask strength of 50.5%. ABV. That's our uh, our Kels. Now remember, there will only be 50 bottles, 50 only, and that's it. And they will be available at Mark and Manny's Malts on the 15th of April 2019. I believe these will be going fast. Anyway, the uh, color is an old golden from the bourbon cask. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful body. It clings a bit to the glass. 50.5% ABV. Let's give our Celts a try on the nose. This is very fruity indeed. Quite soft and delicate. I get apples and pears. Some mandarin with a hint of, of uh, pink grapefruit. But there's also some pineapple and juicy apricots in there. Some Turkish delight. A good helping of honey some licorice and rose water and some light brown sugar like the it, we, we here in Belgium have the greffe sugar which is a light brown sugar that typically goes on on pancakes we call it sometimes children's sugar I get that here as well this is absolutely delicious right on the palate then quite oily silky soft at first but then immediately some lovely spicy notes kick in as if from from ginger licorice maybe even a pinch of of, of white pepper becomes a bit warming actually um, oh and the fruit the fruit returns in full regalia the apricots the mandarin the pink grapefruit the apples wow very lovely very nice indeed delicious on the finish then wonderfully long finish it's sweet and warm at the same time this is really wow this is heartwarming this is a textbook space side whiskey very fruity a bit spicy long and warming absolutely delicious this is a delight the Celts wow <laughs> and I'm I'm almost reluctant to say, but this one in my book is even slightly better than the uh, than the Pix, which, which was already, in my opinion, and not just my opinion, um, it was already a fantastic whiskey. But this, this, the Celts, slightly goes over it. It's it's a bit different. It's more fruity and more round and more delicious even. So that's it. The uh, the Celts, a 22 year old. Speyside whiskey from 1996 from the Valley of the Deer um, 
Remember, only 50 bottles available at mmmmmoats.com. So don't miss out on this one. I hope you will enjoy it as much uh, drinking this as we did discovering the cask and uh, deciding to bottle this one. Oh, Manny, if only you were here to share this moment with me. Luckily, we already tried it a few times together, but really, with this, with the sunshine, early spring day, life is good. And that's all for this Whiskey Rambling, and I hope to see you at one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings real soon. And until then, may the Celts be with you. Bye-bye.